Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make any character Fortnite dance. It's pretty easy and you can do it with basically no 3D experience if you follow my guide exactly. Also, this guide is way easier and faster than the last tutorial I made a few years ago. But before we begin, you're going to have to download four things. Number one, Blender, a program for editing 3D models. Number two, Cats, which is a plugin for Blender that fixes 3D models. Number three, Unity, a program for animating 3D models and making games. And lastly, number four, a Unity package with Fortnite animations in it. All four things I just mentioned are linked in the description below, so check it out before you start. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe while you're down there. I'm going to do this tutorial in three easy steps. Step one, finding your model. Step two, editing your model in Blender. And step three, animating your model in Unity. Let's get started. Okay, step one, finding your model. You're going to need to find a 3D model of the character you want to animate. Um, my favorite website for this is the models resource, which you can see here. Um, basically has a bunch of rips of models from video games and most of them are fully rigged, so ready for you to animate. Uh, make sure you get one that's already rigged, meaning it has a skeleton so it can move, um, because rigging is quite a complicated process and you don't want to be doing it on your own. Also, make sure your character is humanoid, so choose something like uh, Naruto rather than uh, this dog Akamaru down here, because um, you can't really make a dog Fortnite dance. Anyway. Once you've found your model, download it and get ready to put it into Blender. Um, to import your model, well, take a look at the folder that you downloaded that contains your model. There's probably going to be a few different files like you can see here, and one of them is going to be the model itself. It's probably going to be an FBX or DAE file or something like that. Uh, Naruto here is a DAE file, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Import in Blender, and then go down to the DAE option. Just choose the one that matches the model you downloaded. And there he is, Naruto, looking reasonably normal, even though all his bones are sticking out right now. Um, make sure that you click Viewport Shading in the top right here uh, to make sure you can see how the textures look on your model. So here we go, his textures have loaded in. Um, depending on the model that you chose, your model might have messed up or missing textures, which could be for a million different reasons that I can't really cover in this video alone. So if that happens to you, uh, if you're brand new to Blender, I recommend looking for another model of your character that imports better, like a simple, low quality model. But if you are feeling up to the challenge and want to fix your model, you can look up a guide on how to fix textures on imported models in Blender, which will be pretty complicated and involve, you know, using the materials tab down here to set up the textures properly. But if you're feeling up to the challenge, you can fix a lot of models that way. If you are wondering what all these bones are sticking out of him, that's basically uh, his skeleton or his rig for animating him. If you want to hide them, you can go up here, untick the bones box, and now he's looking normal again. Anyway, moving on, hopefully you've downloaded and installed the Cats plugin from the link in the description, which we're now going to use to uh, just prepare our model for Unity. So we go to the tab on the right here that we can pop out, and moving down to the Cats plugin, uh, we literally just select our model and click Fix Model wait about 30 seconds or less and basically what this is going to do is make sure all the bones are set up correctly for use in unity this step is technically optional but i really recommend it because it saved me a lot of headaches in the past just before you export the model from blender we're going to want to go over to the uh hierarchy on the right delete the camera and delete the light because we don't want them exported in our final fbx which we're going to export right now we're going to file down to export and then make sure to export as an FBX uh, ready for Unity. All right, step three, animating your model in Unity. So now it's time to use Unity. So make a new Unity project like I have here. Um, we're going to add a couple of things to the project by dragging them into the assets window. So make sure you do it in this order. Uh, the first thing you want to add is your textures for your model, which should be in the original model folder that you downloaded. Um, they should look like image files, so basically just select all of the image files uh, in the folder you downloaded and drag them into the assets folder in your Unity project, which you can see down here. There they are, they've all added themselves. Uh, next, we are going to want to add the model that we just uh, exported from Unity. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that into the assets folder as well. 
there he is, Naruto. So he has textured himself correctly uh, because I added in all these textures before I added in the model. Um, this might not go so smoothly for you. If you're having some issues, uh, make sure to look up some tutorials or something on adding materials and textures to models in Unity. It could be quite a complicated process, but hopefully if your model is simple enough, all you have to do is drag in these textures and then drag in your model. Uh, next, we need to add one more thing to Unity, which is that pack of Fortnite dance animations that I've linked in the description. You should have downloaded already, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into my assets window and click import to import all of them. Wait a couple of seconds and the animations should pop up in the assets window. There we go, we've got a folder called animations now, Fortnite animations, and you can see we've got all of the animations here. I click the first one, dance moves, and preview it. You can see it's the default dance, that's what I'm gonna be using today. But there's a million different ones here. You can uh, take your pick, I suppose. Uh, next, we're going to go into the assets window again and click on our character. And up in the inspector over here, you're gonna see rig. Click on rig and go animation type, humanoid, apply. And that will make sure that Unity recognizes that your model is a humanoid. Then you wanna click configure. Remember to save your scene. Just zoom out a little bit so I can see Naruto. Uh, basically what this does is set up the T-pose. Uh, I'm sure you know what a T-pose is. Um, it's very important in setting up animations. So basically you wanna make sure that your character is in a T-pose and over here on the right, if you click on these, you should be able to see that it has uh, correctly assigned all the different bones. So for example, shoulder on the right arm is right shoulder. That's correct. If you have any issues, uh, you might need to rejig the bones over here, but if you have been following the tutorial correctly, hopefully it's not an issue. You can also see here that our narrator is not actually in a perfect T-pose. This happens to a lot of models and it's probably gonna happen to yours. Um, why do I say that? Because, well, if you look at his fingers over here, looks like he's uh, broken them or something. So I'm gonna click each of the bones and uh, I'm gonna rotate it just so it looks like he's in a proper T-pose. Um, oh, that's so tiny, I'm having trouble clicking them. Uh, if you don't do this for your model, so say, say your model has like an arm that's up like this, you have to fix it and make sure it's in proper T-pose or otherwise uh, your final Fortnite dance is gonna look very strange indeed. So I'm just gonna go ahead here. I notice his thumb is also a bit whack. Make sure that all his uh, T-pose is working properly on both sides. And basically what I'm doing is I'm using the uh, rotate tool, which you can find up here and to rotate the bones. And also if you need to move any bones, you can use the move tool, which is also up there. So for example, whoa, doesn't look good, but you might have to do that to fix your T-pose. But once you fix your T-pose, like I just have, I'm gonna go down here to the bottom right and click apply. Even though it says character is not in T-pose, well, you can see he clearly is, and I fixed the T-pose. So that should be all done. So once I click apply, I'm gonna click done, and it's gonna take us back to our original scene. We should be all ready to actually get dancing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to animations again, Fortnite animations, find the dance move we want, do the default dance, as I said earlier. And then we want to click the um, pop part of the hierarchy for our character. So not one of these bottom parts, we wanna make sure we're clicking the top part of the hierarchy, um, the blue prefab one. We grab our dance, drag it onto the top part of the hierarchy like that. And we're actually done now. Uh, if you check the animation window, uh, you can click play, check it out. He is doing the default dance. Incredible work if you've made it this far. Great job. But there is a secret fourth step and the secret fourth step is making things look a whole bunch better than they do right now. So um, you can technically skip this if you want. You could just open up OBS, take a video of what you've got right here. But you can see it doesn't look amazing yet. And I'm gonna show you a couple of little tricks to make it look a bunch better, starting with this lighting. So we've got a directional light over here. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna angle it using the rotate tool from before. Make sure it looks a little bit better. I'm also gonna change the color. I like a white light. There we go, got a white light now. Looking a little bit better already. I'm also gonna grab this camera over here. Um, let's see if we can't move it. 
there we go. Just having a little bit of trouble. Um, so I'm going to move this camera so that it's pointing at Naruto. Right now it's pointing the wrong way. So I'm going to use the ro rotate tool to rotate it. There we go. It's getting a nice shot of Naruto's pants right now. Um, let's fix that too. Zoom in out a little bit. Move it up. You can see the camera preview in the bottom is now focusing on Naruto. Looks pretty good. And the reason I've done this is because now we can render properly. Um, if we go to the game tab, which we can also right click and maximize, make it take up the full screen. We've got a much better view of Naruto right now. Click the play button. It's going to play that animation how you would actually expect it to look in a video game or something like that. Looks a lot better. Um, so now that we've got our camera set up, um, there's a couple of other things that we can do. Um, if you want a green screen, so you want a transparent background for your character, I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly right now. Um, so I'm going to go create, I'm going to go material. Uh, we've got a new material here for shader. I'm going to go unlit color. So basically choose green. And there we go. We've got a pure green material basically. And we need something to apply the pure green material to. So I'm going to go to the hierarchy um, create a new plane. There we go. We've got a plane. I'm going to use the rotate tools and stuff from before to just make sure it's set up like a proper green screen. There's also this one up here, scale tool, which you can use to make stuff huge. So I'm going to make it nice and huge so it covers the whole back and drag my green material onto it. There we go. We now have a green screen. Now things are looking really good. And if you recorded this in OBS or something like that, uh, you would be able to use green screen in your editing software to make it transparent. And finally, finally, um, you can also replace your character's materials with toon shaded materials, which helps them look more cartoony because right now he basically looks like a lump of clay. He doesn't look amazing. Um, and this is a really complicated process if you're new to Unity. But if you download some Toon Shaders online and follow the steps I'm just about to do, you might be able to make your character look more like a Fortnite character uh, actually would. So I'm just grabbing uh, a Toon Shader pack that I have uh, from other projects I've done in Unity. Um, let's take a look. This part is a little bit tricky. But basically, I've added a bunch of really nice looking shaders that make will make Naruto look like a cartoon. Uh, basically, what I can do is I can make a new material down here. Let's call this Toon Shader Material. And I'm going to uh, change the shader to one of the ones I just imported. Um, flat Lit Toon would be appropriate for this, I think. Add the main texture to it. And let's uh, drag this onto Naruto. You can see he looks like an actual cartoon now a lot cooler a lot more like you would in the game check out the game yeah he's looking pretty cool adjust the shadows adjust the outline mode i like to have a colored black outline looks pretty sweet there we go he's looking sort of anime now he looks super cartoony and more like he does in fortnite you can use any kind of shader, make new materials, and uh, make your character look a lot better. Well, that about wraps it up for this tutorial. Uh, if you learned something, why not leave a like, and you can subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I hope to see your default dancing creations. Let me know what you've made in the comments. And of course, if you have any questions about the process, uh, leave a comment, and I'll do my best to answer the ones I can. And hopefully uh, other people who've watched the video can help you out as well in the comments. Good luck with your uh, Fortnite dance endeavors and I will see you in the next one.